The Columbus Blue Jackets have now dropped seven straight games and only have one win in their last 12 games. I'm no advanced stats wizard, but that don't sound too good. But to be fair, nine out of the last 12 teams they've played have been teams that are currently in playoff spots. So these are no easy games by any means. But still, this was supposed to be a team ready for a rebound year after a terrible season last year, where they finished with the third worst record in the entire league. In their defense, a lot did go wrong last year, especially when it came to injuries, considering they lost Wierenski, Bokvist, Jenner, and Voracek for extended periods last year. But this year? I don't think that excuse holds up anymore considering they've been relatively healthy, apart from the Lyonne injury that kept him out of the lineup for nine games. But even with a healthy Lyonne back in the lineup and a bolstered back end with the additions of Provorov and Severson, it's looked really rough for the Jackets. And I hate to say it, but their big free agency acquisition from last season has been one of the biggest disappointments so far, that being Johnny Hockey. In 17 games so far this year, he's only put up six points. There's slow starts, and then there's whatever this has been for Johnny Gaudreau. Even Eric Goodbranson has more points than he does. And watching the Jackets play, it seems like he isn't very engaged at all either. Which is even more concerning if I'm a fan. Because if he at least looks engaged, odds are he's more than likely to turn it around sooner rather than later. But he kind of just seems to exist right now. He isn't skating particularly hard. He can't seem to playmake like in his old Calgary days. He's never had a hard shot. And he's not a physical player at all, given he's one of the smallest and lightest players in the league. And the Jackets coach isn't blind to this. In a one-goal game against the Coyotes, neither Lyonne nor Goodrow would see the ice for the final minutes of the third period. That's a statement from the coach. These are, on paper at least, your two best offensive threats. And you bench them to end the third period? It's hard to even disagree with that decision by Pascal Vincent. It seems like the young guys like Fantilli, Marchenko, Voronkov, and Texier have all outplayed both of them and are way more consistent offensive threats, so it makes sense that the coach is rewarding them accordingly. Also, watching this game against the Coyotes, it was also evident that the Lion A at center experiment isn't working at all. One of the biggest adjustments to playing center is the extra defensive responsibilities. The center is usually the first forward back in his own end, which means defending down low and supporting your defensemen to win battles below the dots. This is not an easy transition for a winger to make and is extremely demanding physically. Although Lyonne has done well in stepping up his defensive intensity, he still doesn't seem to have that natural defensive IQ that would allow for him to be an effective center. So I really do think him playing on the wing is the best bet, ideally with someone who's able to play make for him and allow him to release his elite shot on a more frequent basis. But that's the problem. I don't know if that center who can maximize Lyonnais' skill set exists on that roster as of now. I know Fantilli is fantastic and will be an excellent player for years to come, but his play style probably doesn't work too well with Lyonnais either. So I do wonder how long the leash is for the management team. It's crazy to think about, but Yarmo has been the GM of the Blue Jackets since 2013. That's the third longest active tenure among all 32 GMs. And to be fair, I've been a fan of a lot of Yarmo's moves in the past, so I can't say that his long tenure has been unearned, but I do wonder when ownership starts to become restless with losing seasons. But again, I don't get to watch the Jackets enough, so I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you even do with the Goodrow situation? Is there even a situation where you can consider moving away from that contract? I know Johnny's Uncle Jim has been stirring the pot on Twitter recently about Johnny going back to Calgary, where another X-100 point winger is also severely underperforming. But this isn't the NBA. These kinds of crazy moves are typically few and far between. And what do you do with Lyonne? Do you keep trying him at center or do you cut your losses and revert him back to the wing? I'd love to know what you think. Thanks for watching.